Hey there fans, I'm Drew Deitch with Fandom.com with uh, Brian Linder here and uh, we're interviewing Andres and Ben from Thunderbirds Are Go and uh, to start off, what was it like coming into this franchise? Like did you have any prior knowledge about it? Did you grow up with it? I mean what was your kind of experience walking in? Um, yeah, I think uh, most people in the UK have heard of it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so yeah, I mean just going for the, the casting itself was like, oh my god. <laughs> And then to, to get it, it was just like, this is ridiculous. Um, surely there's a mistake somewhere. <laughs> but no, awesome, really amazing. Um, and on, as far as production, I mean, had you, because uh, it's a show that is known for its classic production, you know, the marionette style that the Andersons mm. did, uh, what was it kind of approaching that and bringing your own spin mm. to that style? When, when I originally got approached about joining the, the crew and coming on as, as production designer, I, I love building miniatures, and so I, I was super excited. <laughs> um, and and to also what I, um, the, the thing that really sold it to me was it wasn't going to be a completely animated show. They were still bringing in the original Jerry Anderson magic mm -hmm. of the 60s show and, and bringing in this animated quality to, to keep it fresh for kids now. And it's such a great looking show. And, yeah, um, and I just was, it, it's, it's, it's grown and it's got better and better and I've sort of become more and more proud to be part of it. So it's, um, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, um, you know, we, we've talked to some of the other cast members who've done the family, but Andres, like you, you get to play the villain, like the yes. And uh, what, what kind of, what, what's the fun in playing a villain part, like, like? What? Well, yeah, I mean, it's almost like a cliche thing. Everybody loves playing the villain, mm -hmm. and um, uh, it's, it's well, to start with, you know, it's, it's the only villain in the show. Um, not, you know, no, no spoilers, but um, <laughs> it's just so well written that every. Every line is just is so it just drips in villainy, and it's just such fun to you know. Every single line is like, whoa, you know, I could milk this one. And sit in such a villainous way. <laughs> <laughs> How many times can we get villainous in this? <laughs> yeah, Do you have right. favorite like pop culture villains that were sort of like your inspiration for the role, or is it all? Well, in in the casting, if I remember rightly, I, basically it was a kind of the kind of breakdown was a mix of, of various kind of villains, you know, throughout, you know, from Hannibal Lecter to. <laughs> Goldfinger to, um, and then just basically just kind of get the energies of those and just, you know, see like what comes out. Wrong. Yeah, like, and, um, and, and I think it's been, well, it's been going long enough now that it's kind of the character's got, it's, it's his own sort of character now rather than, eh, that sounds a bit like, uh, you know, someone else, but it's, yeah. Well, I mean, what, what kind of twists, both, both in the acting and in the, in the show, um, you know, obviously there's, there's a legacy to preserve, you know, you have your fans, but it's also a show for kids, so like, what what did you want to do that would help inspire a new generation of fans? Well, it's it's um I think I think it's interesting to see how how kids react to the old one in terms of the the super marionation and mm. it, it's sort of uh, yes, you're right that the old fans still love that stuff, but it's like we needed to hit look at it with fresh eyes and look at what what you know what are kids um, interested in these days and what shows do they like, and there's a lot of animated shows out there, um, but what 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 I th what we thought would be fantastic is if, if we combined that with with real miniature backgrounds, real tangible backgrounds, and were clever about the way that the characters interact with them. That would be a um, a live sort of fresh look that that kids could be familiar with these these animated um, characters, but also in this unusual background, they're in this real background, and, mm -hmm. and it creates this fantastic one. It creates a fantastic aesthetic for the show and, and a really original look. There is no other kids show out there like it basically <laughs> you know so it's a, it's a new thing we're, we're delivering a new thing at the same time hopefully keeping the old boys happy as well <laughs> and um, if it if it motivates kids to maybe make their own miniatures as well get into a little bit of model making to, to see what you can do with with you know not much you can create these vast landscapes and tell this vast story and and also if kids wanted to get into animation you know it's, it's a combination of of both things and and I think um, the, you know, all, all the kids that I, I've spoken to that have watched the show genuinely enjoy it and genuinely love it. So. That's great. Yeah. Do you have a favorite set or <laughs> vehicle? Um, my, uh, of the Thunderbird craft, I think uh, my favorite is Thunderbird 2. Nice. Um, as, you know, a lot of people, I just think it's such a, a unique little, I call it the green blancmange. It's like, <laughs> it's like just this, thing. it's like, how does that fly? But I love it, you know. And, um, yeah. And then of the of the we do episodic vehicles as well, and we did this one called the H MEP, which is sort of this underwater garbage collector, this massive big like yellow thing that just drives along the seabed, and of course 
something bad happens. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that was my favourite episodic one, so keep an eye out for that. That, that was fully puppeteered as well, radio controlled. Now talking about keeping an eye out, is there something the fans should look forward to with, with, with the hood or with new vehicles coming up in new seasons without, without you know, spoiling anything too big? Can you give us some hints? Well, I reckon they're probably a bit of both, though, yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, the story's got to go somewhere. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just bigger and badder. 